Let me bring you love from the fields. Poppies, red and roses filled with summer rain. Hi guys, this is Linda, and I'm just going to talk to you from my heart. Um, it may have a little bit of a Native American perspective to it, but that's not what this is about. Um, I've been reading the news, and I have, um, I've been seeing the Bilderberg, you know, news and stuff, and then I've been watching some videos today. I did a lot of work outside, but, um, since I've been in, I've been watching some of this stuff, and some people are saying we're losing civilization, and I've never known civilization, because in a civilized world, it seems that you would be civil to one another, you would respect, you would have morals, you would have honor, and you'd have humanity. And since I've been born, I've known nothing but war, conflict, divide, conquer, racism, um, racism in all different fashions, religious racism, um, nobody, if, you know, humanity, no one, no one cares about what happens to the brown people in Iran, and I do, I know, I know they just put, signed a new executive order on sanctions, so these people will just be a little more hungry, and I think, how pathetic of a war, this is not civilization, we're not civilized. We're very uncivilized people. And um, we need to get back to our basic instinct. And, it, and, it's, and it's, it's not a divine thing. It's an instinct we all have. And, and it's, um, maybe you should try walking around. I, I mean, Native Americans don't wear, well, maybe they do now. When I was growing up, my aunt, I, she made me go barefoot most of my time most of the time, or wear moccasins, which I still wear. My friends do know that. And I wear <clears throat> uh, animal skin boots so so that my feet are always grounded to the earth because there's a magnetic resonance with me in the earth, so I have my instinct. And um, I think people have gotten away from it with technology, with the clothes they wear and the shoes they wear. Um, the, the, you know, the high heels and the men's shoes that keep you off the ground um, keep you a little bit from that field that would pull you and get you some of that instinct that may not make sense but they're now calling it what is it um, I forget um, there's some new phase some new age thing that the Indians have been doing forever um, is it is it called grounding or something where you, you um, walk barefoot and it's supposed to help you. Well, it does help you. It's helped me my whole life. I used to run on rocks. I can't do that anymore. But um, get in water, get in streams, walk in the grass, barefooted, barefooted. Um, it's not going to kill you. And start thinking, look at the sky. Look at the sun. Don't look directly at the sun. Look a little bit away from the sun. Think. You know, start thinking. Do things. Get things blow, flowing through your body. It doesn't mean you're, you're a wonderful... I mean, you know, it doesn't make your IQ better, but it does draw in some instinct. And anyone who says, Oh, I have all this knowledge. Look at me. I showed you this first. That's not true. Things have been happening for thousands and thousands of years. It's just a lot of us have figured it out. And for some reason, I think all of us have found this frequency who are in tune... And, and we are connecting that way. So nobody found this. Just like nobody found the Indians. Uh, Columbus didn't discover America or the Native Americans. We were here just like this frequency is here. And maybe we're tapping into it because we're doing something different. Or maybe we're just tired of the system. I've been tired of it since I was born. Um, but we're not in a civilized world. And maybe we could make it civilized, but it would take some work. And it would take people, it would take community, and, and it would, you have to put aside some personal differences. Um, if I'm not a Christian, the Christians are going to have to be a little more tolerant of me. I, I get harassed quite a bit because I'm not a Christian. But I don't force what I believe on them. And what I believe seems to be very moral because I would feed them before they would feed me. And I'm not putting down some, you know, Christians because I do know some Christians that would do the same for me. 
but um I just I'm just saying we've got to get through these 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 what the the people in control have put they they have divided us all and we're all a part of this earth there was no chosen people we're all chosen we're all living here so let's let's try to find a way to to wrap that in and unite one another nobody's better than no one speaker's better than the other and no one has some divine providence and there's no chosen people and what we are right now is not civilized if we were civilized we would help our brothers and sisters who are digging what blood diamonds or copper or gold for the elite I mean or we wouldn't buy the Chinese stuff we would stand with them we, we would start standing up, and we would say no, and, and we would tell Nestle's, who's worse than Monsanto, I just read. Um, so you, you might want to check that out. The activist post had that out. Um, so we need to start standing together. It doesn't matter your race, your age, what your po political affiliation is. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what religion you are, if you're gay or whatever. We've got to unite. That's the only way we're going to become civilized. And I'm not saying all this. I mean, each each little community, I'm sure they'd have their own little thing. But that's what we need to go back to is little communities and 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 be something instead of this. Because what we have now is... Is terrible. No one knows who's controlling what. Obviously, here in the United States, everybody denies everything that's elected. I know nothing. I know nothing. It's that person's fault. That's all I've seen. So, um, you know, your elected officials don't recognize you. So stop recognizing them. Don't vote. I don't vote. But anyway, we got to figure a way out. And I just wanted to do this little, this little thing because I see people saying. Um, Civilization's coming to an end. I have never in my life known my life to be civil. I have never, except when I was around more tribal or more, I'll even say pagan people, um, are more civilized than what what the broader spectrum is, you know, considered civilized. So anyway, peace, love. I love everybody. And uh, remember truth always. Love you, Linda.